and welcome back to another episode of Planet Craft here, everyone. So, yeah, if you guys haven't seen in the last episode, we were able to go ahead and construct a whole bunch of heater tier 4s. So, yeah, we used to have 40 of them. Then we constructed another 60 of them. So we have a total of 100 of these heaters. And I must say, it looks absolutely amazing at night. And not to be outdone by the heaters, we actually went ahead and built the equivalent amount of drill tier 4s. So yeah, we've got, uh, we used to have 40 and we built 60, of course. So we got a hundred of them. So yeah, I think it looks super cool. It's like all hidden amongst the trees over here. I know that this uh, area is like very dense, but I really like the aesthetic of it. I think this looks cool and I'm definitely going to keep it the way it is. Oh, and uh, not to forget about all the tree spreaders we put everywhere. So we put a whole bunch of tree spreaders here in the waterfall biome. And this definitely changed the whole look of this place. Like this place looked cool before but now it just like kind of like on the next level so i think this looks really cool i'm really happy with the aesthetic of this place and we also put a whole bunch of trees here in the i don't know what are we going to call this the dark biome but uh, yeah definitely this place looks much better well everything looks better with trees i think except for here in the what is this the canyon biome um, I don't know. I think maybe I need to put a couple of more trees down. I think it would look a little bit better. I just think that it looks kind of insipid at the moment. Uh, we had trees like put in here, but um, yeah, I don't know. The, the aesthetic still looks kind of like sparse. But here by this lake, here by the aluminium fields, uh, this definitely made a huge change. I like the fact that there's tons of trees here because I mean, the ground is kind of green. I don't know. It just looks like it's supposed to be here. So yeah, I think that was the grunt of all the things that we did in the last episode. I know it did take a massive amount of time, but uh, I'm glad we actually did that. So that brings us on to the meat and potatoes of today's episode. So the idea for today's episode actually came from two comments. Like one of them is, it's that guy. <laughs> yeah, awesome name, dude. And it says, rocket launch time. Yes, uh, he says, uh, it should raise your terraformation index by a lot. And the other one is by Trent M, who basically said the exact same thing, like launch more rockets from the pad. So yes, each one will give you an overall bonus. So yes, I know at the moment I've only got 10 of each rocket. Now, what I was thinking is maybe if I go ahead and I launch a ton of extra rockets, hopefully that will help our terraformation index. Okay, so just before we start crafting up a whole bunch of rockets, what I wanted to do is actually go and check out something that I saw in the last episode, and that was the new Pulsar chip, as well as the Firefly Larva. Now, I don't know, I went back to my old previous save. If you guys can remember my previous playthrough, this was actually the map that I used. I created this massive tower. Anyway, so what I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted to go and check out those things. Because, you know, remember I'm doing this in a previous save so that I don't break the save that I'm currently on. So just in case. Anyway, let's go and see. So what I wanted to show you guys is we actually grab one of these Pulsar chips and we put it into the recycling machine and see what materials we get out. We actually get two Pulsar quartz. Oh, I can't pick it up. And well, we get two Pulsar quartz and well as a blueprint microchip. So in case we actually want to go ahead and craft those things, I guess it's going to cost these kinds of uh, materials. It's going to cost one of the blueprint microchips as well as a Pulsar Court. Pulsar Court, sorry, Pulsar. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. So it's going to cost you at least a blueprint microchip, which is, I wonder what these things are going to be used for. I've got absolutely no idea. It's really, really puzzling. Okay, anyway, the other thing that I want to check out is the Firefly Larva. Now, um, I wanted some place to actually stand and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and try and drop this, but I want to try and see what does it look like at the same time. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can actually... You see that? You see, you can actually see the model of it. Let's try that again. Wow, that's interesting. Let's check that out again. Wow, okay. That's, it, it looks like, oh, now there's no more fireflies because they kind of like drop through the map. Anyway, I'll, I think I'll try and get like a, a picture of it and I'm sure I'm going to be putting it on the thumbnail. So anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen that. But anyway, that's a really interesting thing. At least we know that there is an actual model for the, the what was it? The Firefly Larva, of course. <laughs> I already forgot. Okay, so back in my normal world, uh, what I've done is before we start uh, launching a whole bunch of rockets, I've actually built like a little bit of a place where I've got all my rocket parts. 
I thought this is kind of like a cool addition to the base. Well, it's kind of a cool addition to the rocket pad or the launch pad, whatever you call it. And I've got my like materials already like sorted over here. So I think like each one of these lockers can hold five rockets. Yeah, I think there's enough materials for five rockets in each one. So I can launch 20 rockets of each type. Now, the only one that I can't launch is, I think it's the plant rocket. No, I, I, I said planet rocket, but it's actually a plant rocket. Let's change that. There we go. So I think the only problem with the plant rocket is you need a whole bunch of seed lermas. Now, I think I've got, whoa, whoopsie. Uh, I've got this one as well as, uh, let's go and see. I think inside of my base, I might have a couple of more lermas. But there is not 20 Lermas. I don't even have that much. Now, let's see. At the top here, let's see. How many Lermas do I have? Yeah, you see, I've only got five of them. I don't think I've got any more. No, I don't have any more in there. So that makes me think I'm probably going to have to go scour the map and see if I've missed any Lermas anywhere somewhere. Because I think I kind of need that for the plant rocket. Now, the other rockets are pretty easy. Uh, so yeah, we can like fill this up. So that's five and we've got enough for six of these rockets. But these, yeah, we, we full on those because I can actually create these materials. That's like no problem. But unfortunately, you know, the Lermas, we just can't create them. So we have to go and find them around the map. So yeah, I guess I'm going to go and try and see if I can find any like somewhere around the map. Okay, so back from my excursion, I managed to actually find six more Lermas. I'll tell you something that I can't believe I missed a couple. Okay, I did find a couple in the new biome, so that kind of helped me because I've not really scoured that area very much. But I doubt that there's actually any more anywhere around the map. So that's kind of the maximum. So I guess how many can I make? I can make... So that's 12. I can actually do 12 of these plant rockets. Uh, that's kind of, that kind of sucks because, yeah, you know, after this, I've got no more Lermas. So I hope like maybe in a future update, there will be like, I don't know, the, the chance to, I don't know, to make seeds somehow. Because I think like the fact that there is only like so many seeds in the map. That's kind of like very limiting. You know, there's only so many food seeds. There's only so many plant seeds. Mm. Now, I wish I didn't use so many like of the Lerma to create some of those tree seeds. Because they create those like really cool trees. So I guess no more cool trees for me. Anyway, let's get started with trying to launch some of these rockets. So I guess I'm going to start with this uranium rocket. Uh, let's go and grab, I suppose we can grab all of these. And uh, let's just go up onto the launch pad. And I know somebody did comment and say, yes, you can launch one rocket at a time. Yeah, of course I know that. But I mean, where's the joy in doing that? <laughs> I want to launch like many on top of each other. That's the whole point. You want to see like drunk rockets flying everywhere. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch a couple of rockets and uh, let's launch them on top of each other. There we go. Come on. That's so that's so enjoyable. Oh, this whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, the sound just like disappeared for them. See, that's so much better than just like the normal rockets. Oh, I forgot about all the asteroids. E. I suppose it's gonna be kind of dangerous. But anyway, let's uh, continue. Let's let's hope I don't get smashed in the face. Okay, let's launch this bad boy. And launch another one. Come on. I didn't I didn't think how dangerous this is actually gonna be. But anyway, I think this is the last one. Yeah, our inventory is empty. Okay, I'm gonna go get through all of these rockets, hopefully without dying, and uh, yeah, I'll see what's on the other side.
And that's it guys, I think we are on our last rocket. Wow, that took forever. I think this is the absolute last one that I can launch. There we go. So we can literally, we can't launch any more rockets because all of these things are empty and uh, we've got absolutely no more Lormas left. Not enough to launch anymore. So that's it. The carnage is over and wow, was it carnage. So I guess the next thing is, uh, let's go and see what that's actually done to our satellite. Well, I'll, I don't know, our planetary view here. Wow, we have so many satellites. Okay, so we got 30 of the seed spreading rockets and 30 of the asteroid attraction rocket, 30 of the magnetic field protection rocket, and only 22 of the plant rockets. So, okay, that's definitely a massive improvement over what it was. And currently, hmm, yeah, our terraformation index is still at 0.02%. <laughs> oh my goodness anyway yeah well at least you know these numbers look like they like ticking a little bit more oxygen is definitely going up quicker wow okay well okay i'm really happy that we did all of that i'm just gonna have to wait for all these like asteroids and things to pass because now currently the atmosphere is going bonkers we like as we go outside it's just like going i think we're still on the green one yeah, we still need to get through to the other ones. I don't know what the butterflies must be thinking. They must be like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> uh, anyways, everybody. Yeah, this was quite a fun like episode. I really like launching rockets. I think that's probably one of my favorite things to do in the game. Just like launch a whole bunch of rockets. But finally, the, cli the, well, the clouds are clear. The clouds, the skies are clear. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the uh, skies are clear and everything looks kind of nice. And hopefully we did something to like get our terraformation index going, like clocking up a bit. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another episode. You guys know that I absolutely love when you guys watch all my episodes. And if you guys haven't like uh, subbed yet, please do that. That will really, really help the channel out. And if you guys can just smash that like button, that really helps like, I don't know, the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, guys, until next time, you guys know what to do. Peace out.